Hello and welcome to Kem Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or a volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new item and a new conversation. My name is Zore and I'm a docent at Cincinnati Art Museum. For today's discussion, I've chosen a statue. Actually, it's a, a head and bust fragment. This statue is around 3,400 years old and has come from Egypt to us from the city uh, called Thebes, an ancient Egyptian city that was located along the River Nile. The Nile River runs through Egypt, making the land fertile. The uh, Nile was the source of much of ancient Egyptian wells. It flourished the land, providing good crops and water for humans and livestock. It also provided great advantages for trade and transportation. This statue is made of black granite. Granite is a hard stone and not easy to work with. When a sculptor uses a stone like granite, that already tells us that the subject must be of importance. Granite is an igneous rock. Igneous comes from the Latin word ignis, meaning fire. Granite is formed through the cooling of sol and solidification of magma and lava. Now, what is this statue representing? It is Sekhmet. In Egyptian mythology, Sekhmet was the sun goddess of war, destruction, plagues, and healing. Her name means the powerful one. With a body of a woman and a head of a lioness, Sekhmet was one of the most powerful and fiercest of goddesses. According to the myth, Re, who was the sun god of ancient Egypt and was believed to be the creator of everything, realized that the humans are no longer respecting him. Re decided to punish mankind by sending his daughter, the Eye of Re, as she was created by the fire of his eye, onto the earth. She slaughtered thousands until the fields were awash with human blood. When Re saw the extent of the devastation, he feared that she would kill everyone. She was in a bloodlust and ignored his pleas to stop. So Ray arranged for 7,000 jugs of beer and pomegranate juice, which stained the beer blood red, to be poured all into the River Nile. She gorged on the blood and became so drunk that she slept like a cat for three days, and when she woke up, her rage had diminished. Thus, mankind was saved. She then became a healer and put her rage on Egypt's enemies instead on to the Egyptians. She was a protector of the pharaohs during the wars. Did you know that during flooding season, it has happened that the Nile carried red slit, which made it appear red? It was also believed that the breath of Sekhmet was a dry, hot wind blowing over the deserts. When you think of the sun, what kind of a feeling do you get? Its warmth is healing, pleasant, and helps us being alive and grow. But when she is too hot, she is a destroyer, like Sekhmet. If you had to choose an animal representing the sun, would you have chosen a lion, lioness, or another animal? And why? Now knowing the story, would you have chosen granite if you were the sculptor? Why? What about its color being black? Next time, if, when you visit camp, don't forget Sehmet. She's located on the first floor in Gallery 102. Thank you.